All right, this is a short video um, I threw together on my method of filing my saw in the field or pretty much anywhere. I've done it this way a million times. <clears throat> it works the best for me. If I'm in a shop around a vice or something, I'll still find a tire or something and drop down and do it like this. Um, my editing software, I need to get something better. I can't do voiceover voiceovers on it so i'm filming a little intro here from my den or whatever you want to call it but um the way you run the file through the chain i mean that's pretty self-explanatory the hardest part for me when i started cutting timber was buckling my saw down so to speak securing it so i could file it that's the biggest thing getting your saw secure this is how I do it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments or any questions about how to actually use the file. I, I normally run a skip tooth 20 inch chain and I can drop down file it and be back cutting in five minutes with this method. Um, sorry for the poor sound in this video. I got a new camera for Christmas and I made three videos pretty much Saturday and uh, didn't know it but the camera is defective so it's been sent back uh, it, you can tell what's going on but the picture and the sound are not great so but anyhow that's a, another story but um, I just wanted to film a little intro here and explain what I'm doing in this short little video um like i said if you have any questions just ask but getting your saw buckled down and, and still or when you're trying to file and everything it's not rocking back and forth um is the main thing and good filing technique um and I, I've got a different way of doing the drags. I'll do a different, the rakers, whatever you want to call them. I'll do a different video on that sometime. <clears throat> um, but I hope this helps you. And like I said, I I won't even use a vise or anything like that. I, I always do it like this. It's just, it's just muscle memory. I can look up and talk to you and file a saw like I'm getting ready to show you here. So um, thanks to all my new subscribers existing subscriber, subscribers thanks for everyone's support love and pray for every one of you hope y'all stay safe hope this helps you enjoy it okay folks i'm getting ready to uh film the last little segment of my review of this Holtz Forma Blue 272 XP clone first I'm going to show how I file a chain everybody's got their own method if you want to be a timber cutter per se you need to find a method to get down and dirty and do it real quick um, Everybody pretty much knows how the file is supposed to go through the teeth. The key is, to me, was learning how to hold the saw in position where you could get comfortable and do it really quick time and time again. So, um, without further ado, the file and the saw, I always try to find something to put the chain against that I can put a little pressure on. A pickup tire, skitter tire, tractor tire, whatever works really good. And a tree works, so what I'll do, I'll put it right here and I'll straddle it and I'll just you'll get cut doing this. easier than anything so I suggest wearing gloves at least I normally 
This is full house chain. I normally run a skip tooth when I'm cutting timber. They're a lot quicker and easier to file. But not used to this file handle. It's smaller than the ones I usually use to mess me up. That's one side done already, and then I might find something to set on kind of low the ground, or I can sit right on the ground and do this. I'll just grab this one. But hook it down low. I lay the bar on my leg. I can pressure it with that leg. Sometimes I'll make an extra lick going this way because you're usually not putting as much pressure on this way. I never put a saw in a vice file it. This is the best way by far for me. And there's no vices out in the woods. They don't grow on trees, so. Never grind a chain, file chain without cut a ground chain. That's it. And once in a while, I'll tap the muffler, knock the shavings out of my file, but um, I'll file a couple more saws and make another video in this here firewood. But uh, you get the gist of it. That's how I file my saw time and time again you know it's not precisely like that every time but that's the ways I like to grip it so, hope you enjoyed that and hope it helped you out hope everybody's having a good new year and had a Merry Christmas and uh, I'm going to get on to a different video catch you next time